Hi guys, I have the Droid Razor and Droid Razor Max by Motorola here. And there was a leak out for Jelly Bean for both of these devices. Uh, the Verizon server updated and a patch was sent out. And it turned out to be the Jelly Bean update. It was only up for about an hour or so. And I got the file and flashed it onto here. Both of these are running Jelly Bean right now, and I'll show you some f new features on here and some other things. So let's get started. So if we unlock this device, we can go into system settings and go down to about phone and see that it's running Android 4.1.2. So it's a new newer version of Jelly Bean. And swipe the beans away. So that's the Droid Razor. And there are some new features in settings. You now have accounts, and that is pretty much it. Also, in uh, developer options, there are many more options that you can choose. And that is pretty much it for settings. On the lock screen, you have a new clock, the date, and your little uh, sound toggle to switch it from sound on and vibrate. Also, you can tap on this unlock, I unlock key, and you can uh, swipe up to go to phone left to go to camera, down to go to text, and to the right to unlock. If you unlock it, it goes straight to your home screen. Looks exactly like ice cream sandwich. No changes there except for the fluidity. And the big change here is the notification panel. So when you swipe down, you now have the clock on the left, the date in the center, settings icon, and your X key, which swipes away all the notifications. I have power toggles downloaded and GSAM battery download on here so that those don't come with the device. Uh, you can swipe to clear the message to clear uh, notifications and a new thing with Jelly Bean when you swipe down with two fingers on certain notifications you get more info so on this one you can't on this one you can't but with this one a screenshot if you swipe down with two fingers you can expand it and also this little blue bar lights up whenever you touch it keep in mind this is not OTA and it's not official so this is just uh, I don't know what to call it it runs flawlessly so it could be the new it it could be the new update Here's the new text message field. The keyboard looks exactly the same, types exactly the same. Transitions are pretty fluid. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, that is Jelly Bean on the Droid Razor. I am also going to show you the boot up time for Jelly Bean. So here's my Droid Razor Max. It's off right now. So if we start this, three, two, one. Now there is no dual core technology underneath here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or this is just a uh, before OTA version and it doesn't show that on there. So when it turns on it looks exactly the same as it always has been should take a bit more to turn on this one's already on we'll wait a bit more I don't know why it's taking forever to turn on, but the eye looks 
pretty cool. Same as it did before. And there it is. You can unlock it. Very fluid. There's the app drawer in case you missed it. Still very fluid. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.